Let me just state it for the record. Okay. At this time, I will declare us out of executive session. And um, are there any motions? Mr. Wilson? I'd like to make a motion to remove Julian R. Bear Runner from the president of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe based on malfeasance and gross negligence. I second that motion. I second that motion. And then you do that. Right. And at this time, we'll take uh, the vote by roll call. Nikina yep. Mills. Jim Meeks. Uh, yes. Do you want to repeat your motion? My motion was to remove Julian R. Bear Runner from president of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe based on malfeasance and gross negligence. Dwayne Yellowhawk. Uh, yes. Garfield Apple? No. Glenn Gibbons? Yes. Lydia Bear Killer? No. James Cross? James Cross? Becky Sears? Oh, yes. Vincent Tillin? Vincent Tillin? Craig Dillon? Yes. Cora Whitehorse? Cora Whitehorse? No. Valerie Janice? Not voting. Valentina Merdanian? Oh, uh huh. Ryan Jumping Eagle? Ryan Jumping Eagle? Bo Little White Man? No. Chancey Wilson? Yes. Philip Goodcrow? Philip Goodcrow? Randy Laysband? Yes. Richard Greenwald? Yes. Nikina Mills? Huh. Robin Tapio? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. This is Ryan, can I still vote? Yes. The vote was no. Question. Jackie Sears. Uh, yes, Ms. Sears. Yes, how many council are present today? That, uh, what's the two thirds of that council that are present? Fourteen is the two thirds because there's 20 present. How much? Fourteen. And some of them aren't here. They're not answering. There are 11 yes votes, 5 no votes. 
for not voting. You're listening. If not a two thirds, I'll do that pass. I do have another motion that uh, this incident be turned over to the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Tribal Attorney General's Office as well. That's my motion. Second. Judge, point of order. This is just for the impeachment. It ain't. That, that's correct. It is, it is up for council action. You know, I think that the council should leave it up to the party to to do that. Well, us, we should not interfere and in, enforce and support something like that. So my motion is to adjourn. There a second. I'll sec. I'll second. I'm going to second uh, Chancey's motion because we did this. Uh, we already set precedent to do this. It's not on the agenda. It don't have to be. It's already an issue. My question is, in situations like this, we need to have all the council present in in the area that's being held and not going on Zoom. That's what making this difficulty. Those that are on Zoom can make it into this meeting and we need to make this mandatory that all council need to be present in the building when situations happens like this. Thank you. I make a motion that we um, all uh, convene at the count the uh, prairie winds to make this vote because it's not fair that some of these um, council members are not on the um, the Zoom. We can't hear them. We don't know where they're at. So that's my motion to get them all there for a vote. It's done. Let's move forward. Vote was taken. And my motion to adjourn, and I have a second. Yeah, Jay. Yes, go ahead. Can our, can our legal just kind of respond just for the record about where non -vote, not voting goes? We have Lisa Adams or Russ Zephyr online. Because there's four respond. not voting, correct? Yes. So can just for the record, where do the non voting go? Well, technically, technically under, um, Let's see, just give me a minute here. And I ask um, because our, our, our laws really need to be strengthened. Okay, so if, if you ran a motion to impeach and remove, um, you, you need a two thirds vote of the tribal council, okay? So two thirds of the tribal council has to vote. Um, and so if it doesn't receive a two thirds vote, it doesn't pass, no further motion is necessary. Okay. Um, and that's according to 4126 and 4190 um, on the way those votes are run. Uh, the issue came up on prior occasions, what that two thirds mean. And I believe it's 14, uh, 13 or 14. Um, and so at the point that you don't get two thirds of the council actually voting. Um, you don't have the two thirds met. And, and this is Russ. And the four that did not vote, their votes do not go with the yes or with the no's. They're right. non voting. They're, they're non voting. Yeah, they're just listed as not voting. I have a question. Uh, Mr. Weston, you have a question? You guys say there's an investigation, but I, ha I haven't 
no knowledge about an, an about a investigation going on. So I don't know where this is coming from. I believe there's a motion on the floor to turn this over to begin an investigation. Yeah, motion to to turn turn this over to the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Tribal Attorney General's Office. And I also wanted to say that it's it's about it's about conduct. It's you no, know, you guys can't let this happen to anyone else. You guys, you guys failed to protect the youth. <sighs> You guys failed to protect me. <laughs> At this time, the the only thing that is on the agenda is um, the impeachment, and so uh, that that failed. And at this time, I will take a motion to adjourn. And Ms. Killer did motion that, and Ms. and I. I would like to state that, you know, I did, my vote was not voting because we do see a court document here that has a, a number on it. That was the reason for my not voting. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Janice seconded that motion. Ready? Jim Meeks, this is a motion to adjourn. No. Dwayne Yellowhawk? Yes. Garfield Apple? Yes. Gwen Gibbons? No. Lydia Bear? James Cross? Jackie Sears? No. Vincent Tulance? No. Craig Dillon? Cora Whitehorse? Yes. Valerie Janice? Yes. Valentine? Madam Secretary, my vote is yes. Okay. Valentina Merdanian? Yeah. Ryan Jumping Eagle? Ryan Jumping Eagle? Yes. Bo Little White Man? No. Chancey Wilson? No. Philip Good Crow? Philip Good Crow. Randy Laysbed. No. Richard Greenwald. No. Nakina Mills. Randy yeah. Laysbed. No. Robin Tapio. No. Philip Richard Greenwald. No. This is Philip. No, no, no. Philip, what was your This is Philip. Vote, vote no, uh, no on that. And I like to vote on that impeachment process. I got lost here. I mean, just so we can get to the motion to adjourn seven yes votes 12 no votes uh one not voting so i have a question for our attorney since we didn't adjourn <laughs> Here. 
Lisa, do you want to answer um, Richard Greenwald? Yeah, I was waiting for the question. All right, so I, I, I thought it was uh, two thirds of the council who is present. Well, uh, okay, again, we're dealing with archaic old ordinances. Um, that issue has been debated a number of times over the years, and it's been interpreted both ways, okay? So two thirds of the council is pretty straightforward. It's unambiguous. It means two thirds of the council, okay? Um, like I said, down the road a piece, it got interpreted both ways uh, by the council. Um, but as I read the ordinance 4126, it takes two thirds of the council, not two thirds of the council present. Uh, I wrote a legal opinion on it when I was there. Let me see, I can look it up. Um, but basically um, it boiled down to 13 or 14. I just don't remember which number it was. So, because it's addressed in the Constitution and bylaws, it's addressed in Ordinance 4126 and Resolution 4190. Um, we're not following the, the ethics uh, code, so those are the documents that apply. Um, and so, the two thirds requirement, you know, when it says two thirds of the council, it doesn't say two thirds of the council present, it says two thirds of the council. I'll move this is a, are there any other motions on the floor? This, this is a special meeting. And there was only one agenda item was a hearing. And the hearing happened and the vote happened. So now we're trying to what? Fix it so it happens the other way. I don't think we should be doing that. <laughs> the people are listening and public have are hearing what's going on here. So you guys failed uh, if they failed and then we're gonna find another way to bring it back. Is that what we're doing? I don't think, but the, the agenda said it was the hearing only and the two third vote was not there. So I think it's over. And I, and whether they wanna adjourn or not, I don't know, but you know that um, it's over, the meeting's over because that was the only thing on a special. It's not a regular, it's a special, so it's done. So the administrative law judge is done. The hearing is over. Thank you. Mr. Wilson. Uh, I just know when we removed the vice president about a year ago, Ms. Bearkiller made the motion to send that over doing an investigation. So with all due respect, I'll make my motion again that this be turned over to the U.S. Attorney's over Office and the Attorney General's Tribal Attorney General's Office for an investigation. That is my motion. I'll second that. This administration with the Vice President. Okay, but to clarify that, they keep coming back to the Vice President, but the motion for that one was uh, the violations of the donations. And there was no investigation on her. It was the investigation on the donations coming in. That's what was sent. So I, I guess I, I wanted to clear that. But it was on the um, donation issue. And that, that was done. At this, and there point, was a vote at this point, because this is a special session, I don't have the authority to um, proceed on that. However, that does not mean that um, the person making the complaint does not have that right to proceed on any kind of um, criminal matter or anything that would come from this hearing. But I do not have that authority. Yes, go ahead. They all became headhunters, huh? 
question is under 4126 we just went over that it says that in section two no person shall be convicted without two-third concurrence of the council that means there's no specification there's no definition of it states that entire council or it does not state that the council present during the meeting so we need a clear definition so that means did the vote run go through or not because all it says is two-thirds of the council it didn't actually specify the entire council thank you it would, I mean, it's not majority, it's still two thirds, and we have 11, we need 14 votes for you. They were only are we, are we done? Um, and you needed 14. Question Yes, Ms. Sears, go ahead. You know, um, there was four people that didn't have a chance to get on because of probably technical problems. I think Philip was one of them. And I believe Ryan threw his vote in at the end. He was probably trying to get in. But um, we, didn't, we didn't give the opportunity for the other ones to cast their vote. We just, um, you know, adjourned. You know, I think that this, this technology that we're using, it isn't up to par today. And it's not allowing the council that do, you know, their right to vote. So I think we need to hear from them because we're still in session. Each tribal council member was given an opportunity to vote. They were given an opportunity to be present at this hearing today. Um, they were present for most of it, and um, the vote's been taken, the vote's been tallied, and um, that part is finished. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Oh, Madam so, Chair. So the next part is you should be relieving yourself from the chair now and giving it back to the vice president to chair and close out the meeting. And that's where the motions we're chancing and can come and come from. Because yeah. the hearing's over. So you don't, we don't need you to be there for the rest of the council meeting. We are trying to get the vice president back on the phone at this time. Um, and as soon as he's on the phone, he can then take over the hearing from there. You have to turn turn your radio down. There's a long way to my eyes right now. I have to do that good, but Tom, you're going to have to turn your radio off. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, can everybody hear me? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, I was listening to the council members talking just a few minutes ago. And I was on my way to Rapid City. I have an eye appointment up there because I can't see that good. I do got a driver. Um, but the word motion is put on the floor. And I do recognize them. Um, the main motion was to adhere. Tom, will you um, turn the meeting or um, dismiss the ALJ presiding judge from the hearing? So you can continue on with the meeting. Question. Now at the meeting, uh, I'll pull over on the side of the road here and then uh, I can hear better. But uh, does everybody hear me okay? Yes. Question. Yes, the question is what? Okay, this is for the attorneys. Um, we took a vote on um, removing the president 
And who who calls that? Who recognizes the motion? The ALJ or the pre, the vice president on council? When we come out, we usually run the vote. Could you answer that? And then I got another concern. The colleague of mine, uh, Mr. Tulance, said he voted yes, but he's not recorded. Okay. Um, as to the first question, um, when you come out of session after the hearing, the ALJ presides over the hearing. The hearing is done. At the point that you come into council with a motion to impeach and remove, uh, that would run as a council motion, I would think. What do you think, Russ? <laughs> Well, you know, the council is setting in session when they're when they're holding this hearing. Yeah. So to me, it was proper when the motion was made, and it didn't get to two thirds. That the ALJ recognized that, so you know that part's finished. Right. I mean, if right, they're saying that Philip, I don't, I don't know where Philip voted, but they're saying Vincent didn't. But that's up to the ALJ whether she's going to recognize their votes at this point in time. Well, and I, I think that Ms. Sears' question is more geared toward does it become a council meeting again once the hearing is concluded? And so I don't know that there's an easy answer to that. Well, to me, it's always a council meeting. I mean, the council has to get, they have to have a quorum to conduct this hearing that was held today. So right. they're, they're in session. It might be impeachment hearing, but they're, they're in session. Right, and they've given plenary authority because the vice president can't preside over that uh, to the ALJ to preside over the hearing as if that person. That's right. Yeah. That's okay. right. So the, so the ALJ had to, had to, as she did, she recognized the vote and she determined that there wasn't two thirds, so the impeachment failed. So if you look at, uh, okay, so if you look at ordinance uh, resolution, stupid resolution 4190, it says the presiding officer shall be appointed by the council and will preside, so that's mandatory, at both the hearing and the final session. So this would be considered the final session under that ordinance. So it would be, it would not be um, the vice president that presides but the ALJ under 4190 sub six. If this is the final session, what do you think, Russ? I agree with you, ALJ, it's, yep. her, it's hers. Yep. And like we said before, the vice president cannot, is barred by ordinance from, uh, from participating in impeachment hearings when the president is involved. And Jackie, what was your second? Oh, your second question was as to who might not have been uh, heard. Yeah, um, okay. my colleague, Mr. Tulance, could you ask him? I can't. I don't know. I thought he was present there, or maybe he's on the the uh, Zoom. But he said that he voted yes. I, I didn't hear that part. I think that's more to the ALJ. I mean, the, there was four individuals that didn't vote. Vincent Tulance, uh, James Cross, Philip Goodcrow, and Valerie Janice. Valerie stated her reasons, and I heard Philip say something, but I, I wasn't sure what he said. But, you know, like oh, I said... Can you hear me now? What? Can you hear me now? This is Philip. But I mean, that's, that's up to the ALJ whether she's going to recognize these those vo votes at this time. But she's still still going to need fourteen votes to impeach, and at this point, you don't have that. When I was down that hill. It was really echoing and echoing and echoing, and uh, uh, I, I couldn't. I don't know, but I I I. I uh, Said that my vote was yes, but I don't know what the ALJ, the judge recognizes that.
Uh, Mr. Tulance, we did not hear your vote at the time that you voted. Uh, I would recognize that you vote yes. It would then be 12 yes, five no, three not voting. And the motion still fails. Thank you for recognizing my vote. Question? This is Cora. Yes, go ahead, yes, go ahead. Okay, with all that information been giving, given and everything explained, I think the meeting is done now. The president is not impeached, and I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Our procedure is we got to give this meeting back to the vice chair, and then we would call. So therefore, under the vice chair, we can take that action. So that's my motion. At this time, um, in to, I would turn this meeting over to the vice chair to finish. OK, Tom. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, good excuse for my eyesight. Uh, I, my ears are good. Um, and I do it, I, I do hear motions on the floor. Um, there was a motion that, by Cora White. Kind of confusing to me right now. Garfield well, Apple. What? What is an apple? There was a motion on the floor to adjourn by Cora Whitehorse, seconded by Garfield Apple. You want me to run the vote? Yeah, I do recognize uh, Ms. Whitehorse's motion, seconded by Mr. Apple. Uh, let's run the vote. Jim Meeks? Dwayne Yellowhawk? I'm sorry? Garfield Apple? Yes. Glenn Gibbons? No. Lydia Bearkiller? This one is shaking. James Cross? Not for there. Puts cheese on it. And we had a soft fish before. Cheers? No. Vincent Tulance? No. Craig Dillon? Yes. Cora Whitehorse? Yes. Valerie Janice? Yes. Valentina Merdanian? Yeah. Brian Jumping Eagle? Yes. Oh, Little White Man? Yes. Chansey Wilson? No. Philip Goodcrow? No. Randy Laysbad? No. Richard Greenwald? No. Nikina Mills? Yeah. Robin Tapio? No. The vote was eight yes, 11 no, one not voting. How many yes? Eight yes, 11 no, one not voting. I wish it wasn't carried on adjournment. Where do we go to from here, Council? There was nothing else on the agenda, Tom, just the hearing, so I don't know what else can be done. Declare the drink. Let's go home. I think Chancy had a motion, and I think um, I second that, and it was never ran for an investi to send it on forth for an investigation. I'm sure we should have ran Mr. Wilson's uh, motion first before we adjourn. We, the, the adjournment failed. All right. I'm 
country, then I agree with the legislative body and we'll adjourn for the day. So you declare this meeting adjourned at 3.03? Yes, I do. Thank <laughs> you.